Hello dear students children in this video we will learn about a globe what is a globe this is a globe i hope you all can see a globe is a small model of our planet earth it helps us to study the earth so let's now talk about this globe a little more children you can see this globe a globe is a small model of earth it gives us a clear picture of what exactly our earth looks like so here you all can see this globe represents our planet earth now children it has two poles pole on the top is north pole and pole on at the bottom is the south pole children please look carefully this globe is not kept straight it is not kept straight like this no it is kept little bit inclined slightly inclined about its axis so children what is an axis this rod represents axis of earth an axis is an imaginary line about which the earth rotates it's not a real line but we have assumed that there is an a line about which the earth rotates and what is rotation the movement of earth about its own axis is known as rotation this rotation of earth causes day and night for example if this part of earth is facing sun then it will experience day and this part will experience night and this will change due to rotation after some rotation the part which was facing night earlier will face day and the part which was facing day will now face night so day and nights are caused due to rotation of earth about its own imaginary line which is known as axis now children let's talk about the several imaginary lines drawn on earth children the imaginary lines drawn on earth i mean the circular imaginary lines drawn on earth running from west to east are known as latitudes for example i hope you all can see this line this is a circular line this is the 0 degree latitude and this is the longest latitude it is known as equator so what are latitudes latitudes are circular imaginary lines running from west to east okay children equator is the longest latitude it's divide the entire earth in two hemispheres northern hemisphere southern hemisphere the latitudes measured in the northern hemisphere are measured in degree north and in southern hemisphere in degree south now let me show you some main latitudes and their degree measure so here you can see this is the equator with 0 degree latitude measurement now in the northern hemisphere we have another main latitude it's tropic of cancer 23.5 degree north now moving towards north we have arctic circle it is again an important latitude a main latitude with degree measurement 66.5 degree north now moving towards south equator and then moving towards south children i hope we can see a southern latitude latitude in the southern hemisphere tropic of capricorn 23.5 degree south and then moving towards south we have antarctic circle we have antarctic circle let me focus it 66.5 degree south so these are the mean latitudes one very important point about latitudes the latitudes are always parallel and they never meet and they are not of equal length equator is the longest latitude whereas all the other latitudes are of different length so latitudes are parallel they are parallel but not equal in length similarly we have another set of imaginary lines running on earth from north to south children let me tell you one very important thing the degree measure of north pole is 90 degree north and the degree measure of south pole is 90 degree south so 
here we can see now longitudes the imaginary lines running from north pole to south pole are known as longitudes these longitudes are semicircular and they are all equal in length they are also known as meridians let me show you the 0 degree meridian children this is the 0 degree meridian it is also known as prime meridian or greenwich meridian here you can see i hope you all can see this is the prime meridian this is 0 degree meridian and longitudes are measured in degree west and degree east longitudes to the west of prime meridian are measured in degree west and longitudes to the east of prime meridian are measured in degree east and these longitudes are helps us to calculate time so children we have discussed latitudes and longitudes and what is the use of longitude and latitude they help us to find the exact location let me show you this longitude and this latitude shows us some location so the imaginary lines are drawn to study earth find location and calculate time thank you so much for watching the video